Hey YouTubers, today we've got a Vauxhall Opal Astra G um, and the handbrake isn't working properly, it's not holding. Uh, he's got his ITV or MOT test coming up soon, so he's asked me to have a look at it. I thought I'd take you guys through it with, with me, um, see how the system works, etc., and just see what's going on with it. Hope you enjoy the video. So, the first thing I'm going to do is see how much the cable's been adjusted up, and the adjuster should live under here. So, we've got a trim tool. Let's see if we can close up this gator. Left. Just get the back out now. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we should have. Now that just is all the way up. Make life a bit easier for you guys. There we go. So, obviously, someone's been trying to take the adjustment out of the handbrake and just winding the cable all the way down. So, first thing we're going to do, release the handbrake, and we're going to take all the adjustment out of that cable. Yep, so it's a it's a 10 mil on there. Don't need a long socket. It's the first time I've had this car for repair, so I don't have a history of it. I'll take it back more. Right, now I've got plenty of slack on that. So now the car's up in the air. Oh, as soon as that noise, that's just the oil draining. Let's have a little look at the cables. Okay. Ah, okay. So we have a seized caliper here. Um, Let's see what sort of nick that pads in. Let's get this wheel off. Have a look. Oh, let's try and unseize that caliper firstly, I think, before we get the wheel off. Put it off in there. It's unusual they get stuck on as well. So this should be on that stop. Let's pull this handbrake uh, cable off it. Okay. Okay, now that goes all the way back to the stop. Now we're getting somewhere. Somewhere like a seized handbrake cable. I'll be looking at now. And now that's had a chance going all the way back. I reckon. That's gonna make yes. A lot of difference, huh? Let's 
We have a clip. I hope you can see what I'm doing. This little clip goes in there. Yeah, not a lot we can do with this because it's totally these. Right, so I need to speak to the customer, get a handbrake cable, and then we'll uh, carry on with the video. Have a look at these pads. Pull the wheel off to have a look at them heads. Can't see them from outside. Have a little feel. Yeah, the pad's good. I think the pad's not. Uh, brake pads and cable. Sorry guys, just stole your light. Let's have a look at taking this cable off. So I'll disconnect this one to give us a bit more room in the middle. I'll just pull that down. And hook that cable there. That gives us plenty of room down the middle. Just above the exhaust. So that's where the two cables meet in there. I'll hook the other one out. Well, there's not one in the other side, so we won't have to worry about that. That's what we want to do. Let's pull the arm down, pop out the nipple there, and that gets that free. Do the same the other side. So that's the other side three. We'll come along then. We have a keep here. Let's get you in on that. Be able to roll this out of it. Cable tie there, just cut that one off. Um, keep here, should just roll out again. Hopefully, let's put you down. That's that one rolled out. Cut that cable tie. Move it back or go on the other side and do the same. Okay. 
tougher. Let's put a dive in there. Give it a look. There we go. Here we have a little hook. And what we keep on the tank. Don't get us for the dive in. That's why we're out there. Now the top ones I believe are slightly different. Fiddly. And instead of taking the out cable for it, you just take the inner cable for it. It's a little fiddly, but it's doable. I think with the uh, exhaust in place. Boom, bigger screwdriver. Let's see if I can show you what I'm doing. So up there, those two keeps have got a little groove that runs along them and you get the inner cable and pass it through the groove. If I drop the exhaust, but I reckon it's doable without dropping the exhaust. We shall see. Right, that's one out. Have a go at getting this other one out. Then to get the one piece for it. It kind of all comes along. Or does it just make a liar out of me? Come on. You know you wanna. Let's have a bit more cable. Space there. And there we have it. Just a, a little bit fiddly, maybe. the hook it's a right hand side cable so we've got the hook this side which is going to be right hand side cable
both hooked in at the front nicely. Mustn't forget a cable tie. We've got a little keep in there. I'll cable tie that in there before I forget it. I'm not allowed to fit in second hand parts, so stuff like this. It's desperate for it. It's got its test on Thursday. Right. Obviously, I don't mind two second hand parts. Not stuff like this. That's impossible. If someone wants me to bring a second hand part, I will fix it, but if there's a problem with it, not down me. And the only reason I'm doing this is because he's my neighbour, a Spanish guy, he's a really nice bloke, and I think it's way for him to be fair. So now we're on to back on to doing the cables on the caliper. side that's just this side where we should put it exactly the same with the cable this side 
apart from his dad that ever could, obviously. So basically that's that part of it installed. Now we go up the front, take some slack out of the cable, because as you can see, there's a fair bit. Um, and then adjust it up. That's all I'm gonna do now. Activate the handbrake a couple of times. And then we need to take the slack out of the um, adjuster, because I've got it wound all the way back at the minute. Not too much slack, shall I say. Nice little bit of slack in there. Right. So that's taking the slack out. I mean, second hand cables, don't know how much stretch are in them. Let's put it on one click. Let's just touch it on one. But no real resistance. I just want to feel a little bit of resistance on there. Just a tad. Let me go another half a turn. Yeah, getting some resistance in there now. Not so much that side. Give it another little half a turn. So seven clicks, locked. Nice, right, so on seven clicks, which it is. I don't want to go any more with it because I can just feel the resistance on the one click, so I don't want to have any more, but really, that's really tight. And this one, two. Bit of palaver this car. He wanted second hand, but second hand. Um, yeah. His emergency to get him for his test. Can that be enough to get him for his test? So all we've got to do is put the gator back on the handbrake. Bit of a scrappy video, I'm afraid. Um, you know, it is what it is with that. They, they wanted second hand part. I did them a favor and got one. This is not something I regularly do, not for parts like that anyway. Um, 
that he's desperate to have his test on Thursday morning. Um, but yeah, so Celestra G, handbrake cable replacement, um, and it's got rear discs on the back. I won't guarantee that part, I think I said that earlier. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe, like, hit the bell to get notified of my next videos, and please leave comments, questions in the box below. Thanks for watching.